going on over in the shoe section but I do see these I believe these are Mike Trout those are awesome yeah always look out for the Mike Trout ones these are actually in great shape very clean looking you just got to clean a little bit of dirt on it I'm gonna throw those in the cart and see how much we got so there's a $6.99 great deal Mike Trout stuff I sold even kids stuff for Mike Trout cleats and they go for like $30 so I can't wait to see how much those go those go for
some cycling shoes, I believe. Very clean. I'll have to look up that because I don't know that brand. I don't think so. Look those are pretty clean too. Now the Converse, these are pretty clean, but you always got to make sure of the size too. If it's anything six, if it's anything like under six, I usually don't pick it up. But let's see here. So seven and a half. And I think these are called the Shoreline ones. So that's actually a pretty good find because those sell pretty well. That's five ninety nine. I think I'll take a chance on those. Yeah. see those if you ever find the old school the old school high top vans those usually sell well as well the suede ones let's see 4.99 that's pretty good this one goes depends on the price too so it's a 6.5 in men's but it's an eight in women's so that's actually pretty good so i might just grab those obviously gotta check the condition But yeah, nothing's really going too much on in the shoes. I kind of see these Nikes right here. Air Max. Bottoms are kind of bare though, sadly. Uh, I'll kind of see how much they go for. Maybe it'll still be a good pickup and I'll just kind of underprice it a little bit just because the bottoms are kind of bare there. But yeah, nothing's really going on too much. I used to pick up these Brooks right here. I might check it out. I usually pick up Brooks for sure if they're in good condition. Brooks always sell well. It's the Sockenies, I believe, that I always have trouble kind of selling. I've sold a few in the past, but this, I'm gonna try and see. I think so. Yeah, nothing much is going on over here. I don't really don't really look for the dress shoes too much. Oh, that's cool. My daughter would love that. She's super big into cars. That actually is really cool. Wow. That's pretty cool. Like I was saying, um, I don't really pick up dress shoes too much just because honestly, I don't really know that brand that well. Uh, there's a few obviously brands that I know, um, Cole Haan, I've kind of look out for, but other than that, I'm just not super, um, uh, don't really know too much about it. So over here, you can always find some golf shoes as well. Um, Look out for the golf shoes, especially in the summertime, because golf shoes sell extremely well as long as they're the spikes are looking pretty good. So I like that one. I think that's just like a target brand. Now let's pass through the toys. I don't really pick up toys too much just because there's not really a lot of value. We'll kind of see. Sometimes I'll kind of go and get things for my daughters as well. They're love Peppa Pig and stuff like that, so I'll kind of glance really quick and see. I'm not really seeing too much. Like that. video about this not that long ago but uh be careful with the stuffed animals guys i've kind of heard that uh stuffed animals and stuff like that um people don't really pick up at the thrift stores or at least i'm gonna try not to anymore just because they're so dirty and there's so many germs infested with it now obviously you could wash it and stuff like that which is good but what's freaking me out the most and like i said i kind of listen to mr nightmare like creepy pasta videos and stuff but i had heard that some people um 
can put hidden cameras like in the eyes and stuff like that now obviously 99 percent of the time that's not going to happen but i don't know little stuff like that just freaks me out because i heard a story that that has happened and uh i guess on amazon there's always there's a uh, stuffed animals that have hidden cameras and I think that's just for parents that maybe leave their uh, daughters and their sons with babysitters and stuff so you know some sick individual could buy one of those on Amazon and just put it here and uh yeah you just got to be careful like I said 99% of the time you'll probably be okay but you just never know Some baseball gloves but I don't want to be in her way so I'm gonna kind of go down here really quick I have got lucky when I first got came to this thrift store actually in like a year ago I got lucky my first day I found a Nintendo uh, GameCube and I was thinking man I need I need to start coming to this Goodwill and I mean uh yeah what I need to start coming to this thrift store and stuff like that but I just think I got extremely lucky that day um, it was marked like $6 and I picked it up and I sold it like within two hours of listing it for like over $70. It was insane. So, but yeah, I haven't really, I found a PlayStation 2 and a PlayStation Slim here once and everything. The PlayStation 2 I kept, but PS2 Slim unfortunately didn't work. But yeah, I've, you could get extremely lucky with video games and stuff. It just depends on the time you come. So, um, I don't think anything's down that aisle, so... Now, during this time of year, I always try to look for the uh, Jansport backpacks. They don't sell extremely high value. Now, the ones with the suede on the bottom, those actually go for around this time, like 40 bucks. Sadly, I undercut one of mine on accident. I didn't realize it. And I sold it like within like 30 minutes of listing it for like 29 and I should have listed it for 39 and I just messed up on that one. But you know, it happens. Not really seeing much with this. Um, like I said, there's just sometimes the bag, the bag category could be worth. I was thinking hopefully that was Harley Davidson, but that's not. The bag category, you can make a little bit of money, but sadly, there's probably not too much value in it, or at least some that I don't really know too much about. So. <clears throat> flag that's pretty cool i don't really need it for my car but that's awesome it's a pretty cool clock it is looking not it's looking pretty empty today guys not really much is going on and like i said um I don't know if I've ever said it, but electronics and stuff I usually don't pick up just because unless you have something that unless you have something to kind of test electronics and everything like that, then you really don't have the opportunity to test it and see if it works and stuff like that. Now if it has like a cord and stuff like that and it's like a VCR, those are kind of easy to test in a way. But I usually have just been gotten burned with VCR combo players in the past. I picked up I've picked up, I don't know, maybe like eight and i feel like six of them have not worked and two of them have worked so it's just one of those things where electronics it's a hard category to sell in sometimes because you just don't know if it's going to work or not i want to see if anything snuck by here i was thinking maybe those were the headphones that kind of have the built-in radio now those ones go for i believe depending on what kind of brand it is but those go for like 20 bucks and if you could pick it up for a couple dollars that's worth it it's like a super nintendo like controller i don't think that's what it is
check the clothes out really quick because everything else I'm just not really having very much luck. Usually I kind of find more than this today, but usually don't. Soccer jersey there. I don't think that's going to be worth a lot. Unless it was like a Cristiano Ronaldo or like a Messi or something like that. I'm not too big into soccer, so I don't really know the players too much. But I know those ones, if I ever found that, I'd probably pick it up as long as it was in a good condition. Reds, jer Reds jersey. It's pretty good for dollar ninety nine. I collect baseball jerseys as well, guys. For the most part, that's kind of like a t-shirt kind of jersey, though. That's pretty cheap, but I don't think I need it though. Last time I found my favorite uh, item to to wear the grunt style ones last time i found one it was a women's shirt though but grunt style actually sells pretty well they sell on the low end for like 12 to 15 dollars usually and on the high end to like 24 to 26 so if you ever see grunt style stuff here at the thrift store pick that up because usually for the most part it sells pretty well like i said you kind of have to just dig dig through this stuff and like i said i kind of look out for Look out for the patriotic stuff or the sports stuff and you know kind of stuff like that and i don't really like to sell too much on clothes just because it just sits forever for me um some things i get lucky with but like brand new stuff like here's kind of a baseball baseball kind of thing but i don't think that's going to be worth a lot but if you ever see anything that i miss though guys please let me know in the comments because I'm always looking to kind of learn about new items and stuff, so yeah, I'm just not seeing seeing much. I saw that last time. I think during football season that would be well and good to sell, but right now I don't think so. It's four dollars, and like I said, I usually come over here to kind of browse for myself at times and try to see what I can find, but I'm just not having any luck today. gonna show this on a short but uh i think one of the best finds i ever found here i think it was like oh, that's pretty cool this army army strong 99 cents looks a little small though but that's pretty cool i picked up an army uh hat here last time but anyway yeah i think the coolest find that i ever found here i think it was like november or december of last year i stumbled upon a 1990s chicago bulls like starter jacket and it was unbelievable. I, I was shocked when I saw that thing. I would think as soon as that hit the racks and somebody would have picked that up and it could have, it could have just been there. And I got lucky, but that's not the thing that surprised me. It was the fact that it was only $4.99 guys. Like something like that, like thrift stores nowadays kind of charge up a little bit. And I don't know if someone just kind of missed it there, but $4.99 for a jacket that I sold. I think I sold it for, I, got, I gave this guy a deal because um, he had bought like a couple other things, but yeah, I'm pretty sure that jacket at that time was going for like 80 bucks or so. It was a pretty good deal. One of the coolest finds I've ever found. shirts was a washington redskins shirt as well look out for that kind of stuff guys some of that stuff that's just been canceled recently and everything actually i think holds some value a little bit just because obviously they're not making that stuff anymore so people that have been fans for that team and stuff like that still want to buy some of the old stuff just because they you know just miss the old team and everything like that so like redskins cleveland indians and stuff like that look for that stuff um cleveland indian stuff oh since i'm in ohio Shame if I ran into it. That's actually funny. Um, 
you know, like Cleveland Indians stuff like that. Um, look out for the Chief Wahoo stuff because that stuff's super popular right now. That obviously logo is not in Major League Baseball anymore. And uh, I found a Chief Wahoo hat. Actually, I found it here. And Chief Wahoo hat, I think I sold it. It was like a fitted hat. I sold it for like almost 40 bucks. So if you find anything in Chief Wahoo, pick it up. That's why well, I used it at home. Okay, I saw that last time. Yeah, that's why I picked up this. Because I saw that it was Cleveland Indians. So that's actually a nice hat. And probably, you probably get a little bit of it that. I'm always looking for like whenever every time I see like a little teddy bear on shirts and stuff, I keep thinking it's Ralph Lauren. So like the teddy bears, teddy bear Ralph Lauren stuff actually sells pretty well for clothing. Um, if you ever find anything like hats or like shirts and stuff that have like the little teddy bear, so yeah, check those ones out because that those are actually worth a little bit more. And even just Ralph Lauren stuff in general, if you could just find like a shirt that's like it's usually like the ones I look for Ralph Lauren are like plain and stuff, not really super special. But um, I usually pick up those as well because those ones sell for not like a ton of money, but you can still make a little bit of profit. And I also look for uh, Abercrombie and Fitch as well for the polos. The Abercrombie ones, if it's like a solid one or looking pretty clean, those ones actually sell pretty well too. All right, there's just no nothing I'm finding here right now. There was a section over there, but I couldn't get to because um, uh, she was over there. So let me see if I missed one. Maybe it was this one, maybe. Breast cancer, like Duck Dynasty. It's pretty cool. Interesting. 2XM. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. So this, this one I've seen, but for some reason I'm kind of hesitant to pick it up just because it just has the 2016 American League Championship on it. Now maybe if the Indians won the World Series that year, maybe it'd be worth a little bit more, but I'm just hesitant about that because I don't know if it's so. I've seen this here like the last three weeks, so may, I think I made the right choice because it's still here. So that's a good shirt. Stuff like this though, I'm kind of, I think it will sell still, but I kind of look for the Chief Wahoo stuff, just because with the logo and everything, those ones will sell a little bit more, so, but the ones that just say Indians, I'm kind of hesitant about those as well. Yeah, I'm just not seeing anything, this has been kind of a bust.
I think I've been in this section actually. Yeah, this thrift store has actually been kind of a bust. Usually I find more than this, sadly. But who knows, maybe another reseller came in and grabbed things before I even got here. So, possibly. So yeah, like I said, if you just find, if you're in a big city like I like I am, I'm in Ohio, so Ohio State stuff is really big out here. Use it to your advantage, guys, because all of Ohio State stuff out here is actually kind of cheap for the most part. During football season, you can make quite a bit of money. Like if you find like a brand new jacket here for like two bucks or whatever, you could just throw it up on eBay for like, I don't know, over like 30 and you can make some good money. It's pretty cool. The camo with the deer on it. Roller racks, that's cool. What is that? Buckler. That's pretty cool. new looking but i think i'll pass on it though like i said i'm just close for me just sit and jackets right now they're not gonna sell so i think i just need to learn from getting burned for the most part over over the years that clothes are just not something that i really want to sell so it's just not my niche maybe it will be one day but who knows i just i just never really had too much luck with it well Let's go check out the video games. Maybe there might be a hidden gem over there. Video games for the most part, you gotta get really lucky to kind of find some good video games like I was saying earlier. I did find a uh, NCAA football 14 last year. Um, complete. I was so happy to find that because I know during that time before the new one came out, those things sold like crazy. Is that Beavis and Butthead? Oh no. What is that? Beavis and Butthead. Oh man, if that was in there, I know that that probably would have been worth, worth it. Oh man, that sucks. It's because the new one just came out not that long ago on, um, on uh, streaming. The new one just came out, and I think the stuff just has some value in general. But dang it, that sucks, especially since it was Blu ray. Dang. Now, sometimes, now, sometimes I've heard in the past that sports kind of DVDs like this could go for a little bit if they're like new, I think, just because of the like the championship ones and stuff like that. But, uh, yeah, it just depends. I've I've looked up a few and I haven't really found one and I don't think those ones are probably be anything worth it and stuff like that. I've seen like the ones from like the Red Sox from like 2004. I think that one had value. But uh, other than that, not really. Jersey Shore, that's hilarious. I remember Jersey Shore. That seems like forever ago. I'm watching Jersey Shore. I probably wouldn't watch it now, but yeah, you just, you just kind of remember that stuff kind of growing up and how, how, it's just crazy how big that show is. That show like used to be kind of what Stranger Things like is kind of in a way like right now where everyone's just talking about it, like out in the, where I was from and stuff like that, the radio station, you had like a segment about it. Like it was absolutely insane. Like a segment where they just, after like, I think that it debuted, it came out on Sunday nights or something like that. They would talk about it. Sunday or Monday nights. They would talk about it like the next day, like on the radio stuff for like 30 minutes about it. I'm like, that is absolutely insane. guys. I don't know. Reality TV just kind of, I just feel like most of it might be fake for the most part. I'm sure some of it's real, but I don't know. I can never really trust it. Bat Kid, what? Uh, what? Bat Kid begins. That is interesting. I'm gonna look that up. I've never seen that before. I feel like it feels like something's in there. That's interesting. I don't think it's probably worth anything, but that's kind of unique. I've never seen that before, so it could be something worth money. I doubt it though. done this before guys and i've seen like some other youtubers do this but if you ever see like barney like lot them together with like 
DVDs of like three or four and lot it. If you can get it for like a dollar or two, you could put it up on with a for a lot on eBay. And it actually, it sells for like over twenty dollars. I have actually done that before, but I haven't had luck doing it. I know uh, Thrift School. I watched him, and he's done that before with like kind of children's stuff, like Dora the Explorer, Nickelodeon, Disney. Um, so he's done that before. Um, I just haven't had luck with it. So insanity i feel like insanity used to have value like when it first came out but i've had one from like last year and i still haven't sold it now, some of this wrestling stuff does have some value actually dvd wise it's not, it just depends on which one it is let's see if it's in there and tomb ray is in there i hate when that happens but yeah look out for the wrestling ones especially like the old ones from like the 90s like during the attitude era those ones actually sell at times for good money depending on like i said which one it is you might want to look for like the wrestlemania ones and stuff like that mm. jetsons and movies i actually own that i actually own this so that's funny you know, i missed i missed the good old days right there with all that stuff that is actually funny. And uh, Johnny Bravo. Fun fact, I don't know if you know, but Seth MacFarlane, who is the creator of Family Guy, actually worked on... I don't know if he was the producer of Johnny Bravo, but he was actually, like, in it working. I don't know if he's done it for Dexter or not, but I know that he has done Johnny Bravo, which was actually kind of funny. But yeah, Ed and Eddie is, like, one of my favorite, like, cartoons of all time. I love Lucy, the complete third season. Maybe I might have some value, but I doubt it. I'll throw it in the cart, though, and look it up. And here we go with the Blu-rays. I don't really have luck, unless I kind of look for these box set stuff, which, here we go. Kind of, I'll look up these. They're kind of the James Bond stuff. So I don't think they have any value, though, but we'll see. There's a Randy Orton. I actually own this one. Randy Orton's actually like one of my favorite wrestlers. Yeah. But yeah, Randy Orton's like one of my favorite wrestlers. So I don't think that one has value because I think I've looked it up because I actually found it and I just kept it. Yeah, ever since like he came out in like 2002 like loved his style and stuff and then he kind of got all super serious like eight years later and he's kept that kind of thing ever since where he's just kind of super serious and mad all the time now be careful because i know um last year they uh ban the, the like six dr seuss books and stuff like that and people actually are still selling it i've seen some sold but be careful because even though some have slipped through on ebay they actually like you might just get a ding on your account if you sell that they actually like i've heard that they will like ding your account if you try to sell one of those banned ones so i picked up a few um i didn't list it because i just like i said i did some research and yeah, I saw that if you do try to post it, you might get dinged. Like some slip through, but is it really worth? Is it really worth it to try to get like I don't know twenty dollars profit or something like that on a book? I don't think it is. So I actually like still my my car is kind of old, like from like two thousand twelve. I know that's kind of old now, but I used to have Hinder. I don't know if you guys remember that that band, but like the ones from like the Lips of an Angel. Like I that album is absolutely phenomenal and i don't know what happened to it i don't know if like i took my car in i took my car in to get repaired and i don't know if somebody just stole it but i don't know i cannot find that thing anymore but the whole album is absolutely phenomenal so i'm trying to see if i can find it here i've been looking and i would think i would have found it it was a popular cd like with that popular song on it and i still can't find it so i don't know maybe i'll have luck i've been looking but i can't find it so, but yeah, I think that I'm gonna make this uh, this trip here end, um, and then maybe I'll just look everything up, and then I'll show you in the car what I have found and what I picked up. All right, guys. So back in the car, I got everything uh, looked up and uh, saw what I wanted to get, and uh, 
Just wanted to see, show you guys my, what I picked up. Uh, don't mind my dirty car there, that's cement. Uh, my wife and I built a pergola and some of the cement kind of spilled and stuff like that. But yeah, it happens, uh, whatever. So, oh, gotta, I've been drinking my water today out of the hop, the hopper cup. Freaking awesome. I'm, I'm sorry, but Stranger Things season four was probably by far one of the greatest seasons that I've ever seen in a long time from a TV show. That thing was so good. Um, it was just phenomenal. But yeah, I got this one like a couple years ago. Um, it was a pretty good find. So uh, actually not fine. I bought that on eBay. So but yeah, I drink out of the hopper cup. So but anyway, uh, let's get to the finds here. So um, so funny story. I came back, dropped off the stuff and I had to go use the restroom. Um, as I'm passing the restroom, I see these guys. See if I can pull them out of the bag. I'll just show you one shoe. I saw those. Those are Kobe Bryant Mamba shoes right there. I don't know the exact I don't know the exact ones, but if you find anything Kobe Bryant, um, it's usually going to be worth a little bit of money and quite a bit of money. Um, you know, after his passing and everything, everything with Kobe Bryant for the most part just kind of went up in price. So that was a good deal. It was fourteen ninety nine. There's a little bit of uh, heel wear, but not too bad. Tread looks pretty good for the most part. It's a pretty clean shoe. Um, looked up solds on eBay and they go between like sixty to eighty dollars depending on the condition. I'm pretty sure these are pretty good. So if these were my size, I would have definitely kept these. I'm not sure if these are women's or not, but they're a size eight. Um, but yeah, that was a great find, especially when I was walking back. Um, yeah, like I said, Kobe Bryant, whenever he he passed, sadly, um, all this stuff skyrocketed. And, it, and if you find shoes by him, um, they'll be worth a lot. But yeah, funny story. Um, so like two years before he passed, um, I had actually found uh, light blue Minneapolis Lakers from like, it was vintage from like 2003, four, it was Nike. It was the light blue one for Kobe Bryant. He was, that was when he was number eight. So I had actually sold that two years before he passed. And uh, if I, I would have kept it, I would have definitely have kept that. And looking back on everything that happened, sadly, uh, I would have kept that and just would have rocked it. I mean, it was a beautiful jersey. I mean, like I said, light blue, old, old fashioned. But yeah, I sold it. I picked it up. I think I bought it for 40 and I sold it locally for like 80 or $90. No, I actually, I sold it for a hundred. Um, but yeah, I would have definitely have kept it. And, um, and then I had another Kobe Bryant jersey. Um, I did sell that one as well. So yeah, looking back on it, I wish I would have wouldn't have done that. But it's just one of those things where you could pick it up on eBay. Um, but yeah, I, I would have just kept it to be honest with you. Not a Lakers fan. Um, not a Lakers fan really. I'm from Arizona, so I'm a Suns fan. So but yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Just Kobe Bryant stuff skyrocketed, and it's good worth good money. And speaking of Kobe Bryant, actually check these out guys i think i'm gonna make a short about this but these as well are kobe bryant mamba these are actually independence day ones these are freaking cool if i if these were my size i would have been rocking these like i said i'm patriot i love all that stuff so sadly these aren't in the greatest condition like the bottoms are kind of bare and stuff like that but you know what when i saw the price of it it didn't matter because these going used go for about 100 120 dollars now, like I said, these aren't in the best condition. There's a little bit of wear right there and stuff like that, but it really doesn't matter because you could still list it a little bit lower. I might just throw these up for about 50 or 60 and still make good money. Like I said, I don't think I paid, I think I paid like $5.99 for them, but yeah, that was a great find as well. So um, I picked up, I also picked up the suede uh, old school vans they're not in the best condition but they were so cheap i forget how much they were i think they were like 3.99 or so but i picked them up because usually like the high top ones sell uh for about like 30 bucks or something like that so this one i might just throw them on there for like 28 and get like i don't know like i said i'm not good with math so it might be like an eight dollar profit on that but like i said eight dollar profit adds up after a while when you're selling like quite a bit of the stuff and then I did pick up the Mike Trout shoes. These shoes are in great condition. If I was playing baseball, I think I would be wearing those. But yeah, the spiked with the metal spikes, those I think I believe go for a lot more. But yeah, Mike Trout, I've sold kids shoes Mike Trout and they go for 30 bucks. So this right here, if I had to take a guess, it's gonna go for hopefully like 30 or 40 bucks. I didn't even look it up because I just knew it was worth money. $6.99, that was a great deal and a great find. They're pretty clean, just gotta take uh, the magic racer to it. I think it will, uh, I think it'll clean up just well. Um, so 
sorry about that but yeah like i said i picked up the uh, chief wahoo cleveland indians hat um it was 4.99 but it doesn't matter because i'm pretty sure i could sell this for like 20 to 22 dollars pretty clean oh it's pretty clean um yeah doesn't not really new but it looks pretty clean so it's kind of the dad hat kind of style and stuff like that i don't think it's women's i think it's men's or it's just anybody could wear it I'm not really sure but yeah that was a good find as well and make a make a few bucks and I won't show you uh, both of these. I think I'm just gonna show you this one and just head to the next thrift store. But I did pick up these shoes because of how clean they look. Uh, it's the, I don't know if I'm saying it right, the Pe Pe the Pelotons uh, cycling shoes. And these are pretty clean overall. I looked it up and they go for like, depending on which one it is, like 50 to like 70 bucks. So good condition. Like I said, pretty clean overall. I paid like 10 bucks for it. So it'd be a good profit. Um, size wasn't that bad or anything like that so but yeah uh, those were good finds like I said I don't think I I think I picked up those ones and I picked up uh, the other ones too so I had another style I don't think those ones went for that much but but yeah uh, that was the first thrift store I'm gonna head to the another one but yeah I think this is where I'm gonna kind of cut this video short here and uh, this might just be my first video as a as a blog you know just uh, vlogging so but yeah, if you liked it, uh, you like this stuff, um, hit the like button. It lets uh, other people that want to see this stuff uh, find it, and it helps the YouTube algorithm out. And if uh, you like this channel, like kind of the stuff that I'm kind of, that I'm doing, I hit the subscri subscribe button. I would love for you guys to be there. So uh, this is the Patriot Picker. I'll see you guys later. Bye.